This year's Kersney Schools Rugby Festival attracted not only some of South Africa's top playing schools, but referees as well, including Mark Lawrence. Yeah, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades at the moment. Uh, professional referee, refereeing Super 15, retired from international rugby, but Super 15 Curry Cup um, and uh, any, any local tournament they want to put me in. And then uh, the idea there is that I'll be working with uh, uh, referees as a performance enhancement manager at SA Rugby. Um, and um, yes, just giving a bit back to the game. As an IRB referee panel member, Mark's focus is to assess refereeing at all levels. Yeah, I think uh, with the advent of professional rugby in the 90s, the game's got faster. Uh, there's, there's so many people in rugby now with so much time in their hand. You know, coaching staff these days going to eight or nine people in the coaching staff and technical analysis, etc., etc. So the referees have, have to come to the party and they've had to up their game. But the game is fast. I know uh, at one stage uh, uh, they're looking at two referees, possibly for a game. Uh, we've uh, identified that we actually have two very able people on the sidelines uh, called assistant referees. So uh, the drive this year is to, to utilize them more uh, in a drive to try and have three people refereeing the game rather than just going, going to two as they're looking at. And then obviously the use of uh, technology. TMO, uh, he's sitting there, he's been flown thousands of miles. Why can't we use that technology to assist in a difficult situation? I think we need to understand the referee's human. He sees something in a, in a split second and he has to make a decision. And on replay, you know, having a replay and, 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 and checking out the odd occasion where it was tough for the referee, I think just makes common sense. The festival was fortunate to have one of the world's top referees on hand to take charge at some of the games. You know, I live just around the corner here and this is one of the, uh, the top schoolboy festivals of, over this Easter weekend. So I was lucky enough last, uh, last year to get this weekend off as well from Super Rugby. And, it just happened to work like that again this year, and so it's a, it's a real pleasure to come down here and be involved in, in this school rugby, you know. And Craig was more than impressed with the talent he saw. Uh, you know, look, I, I think the intensity of these kids is incredible, you know. They, they really climb in there, um, clearly they're well coached and well drilled. Um, you know, I would, I would say, you know, it's, it's no surprise that you get kids coming out of this level of rugby and playing super rugby in two to three years' time, you know. I think possibly the only difference is that um, at the next level they probably finish a little bit better. You know, these guys created a lot of chances, but, um, but maybe that final pass, you know, which, um, which they don't always uh, get right, is, is probably the only difference that I can really see between this and the next level up. So it's, uh, it's really impressive to see the way these boys play. And certainly an honour for the Kersney Festival to have two of South Africa's leading referees participate.